Here at the house. So, um, uh, let me. Um, I first want to ask you guys. Uh, first of all, the reflections that you guys are sharing in Perope, really uh, good work there. I really appreciate your honest uh, discussions, your respectful discussions. It's very insightful. I think it's going to be very helpful for all the Perope teachers. What I'm going to ask everyone, um, and we can use this time this morning since we're not going to looks like we're not going to be able to have our class like we usually do. Uh, and unfortunately, probably not going to be able to do our TOEFL review. Hopefully tomorrow I'll have electricity here and we can set up the TOEFL review. But I want to ask everyone to. Uh, first of all, if you have not yet had a chance to upload your video from yesterday, please go ahead and do so. I know some of you are having problems with technology and obviously I can uh, relate. I can understand, right? So uh, don't worry if you were not able to upload the assignment, try to go ahead and do that uh, today. But I want to ask everyone that has already uploaded your assignment. I'm curious if you can think about and reflect also on a strategy you know, some of you, I liked how you presented some feedback from each of the classes in Propi. I really like that, right? You went through one by one each of the classes, right? That's great. Um, I think it would be helpful for us also, the teachers of Propi, to know which of the skills you struggle with more, right? All of us have, if we look at uh, grammar, listening, speaking, reading, and writing, maybe even culture. We, we have one, there's always one or two of the skills that we feel that we struggle with more. Maybe we're stronger in listening, speaking than we are with grammar, for example, or, or maybe we're stronger in grammar, but we, we don't have a lot of confidence in listening and speaking. So I'd like for you to think about which of the domains, right? And it could be the classes themselves also, but specifically the skills or grammar or even vocabulary or maybe even pronunciation. Which aspect of language do you feel is the most challenging? Okay. And if you can share what area of the language you feel you or is challenging to you the most, number one, I'd like for you to think about sharing that. All right. And then the second, what are you doing very specifically? What are some routines? And we had an exercise and we've talked about this earlier this week, thinking about daily routines. What are two or three daily routines that you do that help you, that help you maybe be, uh, be less distracted, right? Because we all get distracted very easily online. Maybe we don't have confidence to speak. So maybe there's something that you do or could do, right? That might help you overcome that, that challenge. So I'm gonna ask everyone to um, take this time today and if you've already uploaded your reflection from yesterday, you can you should be able to go in and respond to your video. And I would like for you to add some detail about two things. One, which which aspect of the language do you want to focus on because you think that it's it poses the biggest challenge? And number two, what specific routine or routines, again, anywhere from maybe one to three routines that you do on a daily basis would help you develop that particular aspect of language, that domain or that, that element of English, right? It could, again, it could be grammar, it could be uh, punctuation, not punctuation, it could be writing, it could be reading, listening, speaking, 
you know, what, whatever area of English that you is, is the biggest challenge for you in this online environment. Okay, this is the, our context, right? And, and hopefully we are back together soon so that we can see each other face to face and, and go back to how the classes are supposed to be, right? We all want that. But this is our reality right now, and we want to make the best of it. And I want to take this opportunity, this prope reflection, for us, your teachers, to get uh, this as much information as we can to help you. Since we're still early in the semester, we can still adapt and change and work together and make suggestions about how you can get the most out of this uh, experience. And that's the purpose of these reflections. Again, you know, you, you may feel, I don't know how comfortable you feel speaking in English, right? Some of us have more confidence than others. But regardless, right, even with even if you make mistakes, as we all make mistakes when we speak, what you're saying has a lot of impact. It's very meaningful for us. So don't underestimate how uh, the impact that your reflection is having on us. OK, um, but I want to ask one more thing from you from this prope reflection, and that is. To. After you've created your video, which many of you've done, I think 20 of you, eight of you have already completed. Go back and respond to your own video. OK, try not to include another video outside of your own post. You should be able to reply, I think, to your your first video that you created yesterday. And create another video talking about the aspect of English that you want to focus on and any routines, any strategies that work for you specifically to help address that challenge or that weakness, if you want to think of it in terms of, uh, of a weakness. All right, does, does, uh, does that make sense, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. See? All right. Um, so what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to go ahead and close this class, guys. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop this recording and stop this class uh, because, again, I'm accessing this on my phone and we're going to be pretty limited what we can accomplish online uh, in real time here. So please spend the rest of uh, today to complete this task again if you haven't completed your a video from yesterday go ahead and include the video if you want to include the routines in the first video in the original video that's fine if not you can reply to your um your first video and anything else that's pending anything else that um you still need to complete for this week uh, go ahead and uh, take this time to do so. And tomorrow, I hope that the electricity here at the house uh, returns so that we can at least get one more TOEFL review, um, you know, and get that completed. I want to give you guys plenty of opportunities with the, the TOEFL listening so that you are becoming more comfortable. And I hope that you're becoming more comfortable with taking uh, this this exam it's one thing to help improve your listening but i also want you to know exactly what to expect so in the future when you have to take the official toefl exam uh, you feel better about doing so all right so let's go ahead and uh, we'll close this class for today guys uh, this is unfortunate but i know it happens and make sure that you're always reaching out to to me of course and also your other teachers if you're struggling with um, with technology i always try to build in extra time if you need it um, if you have problems with technology but the thing is to try to be patient and try to be consistent with keep trying to upload videos for example if you're having problems with your internet connection and so on uh, so that we can try to keep up with activities all right guys we'll go ahead and stop there for today and sorry about the situation but it happens um, 
but let's go ahead and if you would please uh, add another video and to your reflection probably tomorrow I'll take a look and see who has uploaded and hopefully tomorrow I can invite the rest of the pro teachers to officially look at your uh, reflections uh, so that we can uh, get to know you a little bit more about some of the challenges that you're facing, some of the concerns, uh, any of the year insights so that we can work better together going forward uh, to uh, to meet your academic goals. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your day and uh, we'll we'll talk to you soon. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Nice day. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher.